Now, uh, I think it was Oscar Wilde that said there are people out there that know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. And sometimes that can be a little bit like that with our kids. Um, but during the summer holidays, with them wanting so many things and, you, you know, you might well be feeling financially stretched. Uh, how about tutoring them in how to look after their own little economies and you can do that with them from the age of three so says simon gibson the chief investment officer at mattioli woods a wealth management uh, company he believes he's also found the perfect formula to encourage them to save and to know the value of wealth and he sits in front of me here how are you i'm very well jonathan um now you came up with this formula it's called the four pots formula and we'll explain it in a moment or two but you you came up with it because of your own children didn't you Absolutely. Uh, became a father in 2000. And by the time my daughter was approaching her third birthday, began thinking, what are we going to do about pocket money? Um, speak to other parents, people who have already been doing it, and recognising through the work I do with clients as well, that an awful lot of, at that time, teenagers and young 20-year-olds were really struggling because I suspect teaching money had fallen off the curriculum. Uh, I don't know about you, I was taught to write a cheque when I was at school, but I don't think those sort of things happen no, anymore. No, I don't think they do. And, uh, and so I was really searching around, what, what are we going to do? And uh, it came from a number of different sources. I'd spoken to different people, and slowly but surely, it uh, turned itself into this uh, four pots, the pocket money scheme. Now, you started off with your children at the age of three, and it actually all began on their third birthday. So, I, see, I would have thought at, th- at, th- at three years old, they have no idea about money at all. So why, why so early? I think it's important because it actually helps with everything from maths, English to the the pure element of money. So, for example, as soon as they're three, yes, it's a little difficult for them to understand exactly what these coins are, but they begin to pick it out. As soon as they're beginning to read, as soon as they're beginning to talk, you're beginning to say, well, this is a 20 pence piece, this is a 50 pence piece, this yes. is what it will do for you. And as as you'll gather when we uh, when we speak about this in a minute splitting the money out into different pots is an important element of it and even early on that understanding that some of that money is for now however some of it is simply for later three-year-olds yes of course find it difficult to understand what it is by the time they're six or seven though they've got a real grasp of it because they haven't started it at that point they started it early the money that they're getting to put into these pots and as, as you say we'll explain the pot system in a moment or two where's that coming from that comes from the parent or the grandparent whoever's paying the pocket money and right. Uh, it, it might seem to some people listening in that you're, you're therefore making a commitment for yourself. Uh, the key thing is that this can be tailored as well to the uh, pocket and the depth of the pocket of the person who's in charge of the pocket money. So if, if you're really wealthy, you can do more. If you haven't got a lot, you can do less. The principle yeah. is do something and make it regular and make it work. Well, you, I mean, you say here, of course, in the case of children that aren't you know, certain, able to earn their own money, uh, you, you may well want to start at 50 pence per week. Yes. For a child. Absolutely, yes. Okay. yes. And and what happens to other money that they inher- that either they inherit or that they get at birthday or Christmas? Does that all go into the, the four-pot system as uh, well? No, it, it tends not to, and that's because we see that as uh, part of what we would call the longer term or the, the probably the fourth pot that we'll, we'll talk about. Right. And so one would use things like junior ices or whatever the, the, the advice might be for, for that particular part of the pot. Mm. I think clearly it also depends when that money arrives, but uh, no, it, I mean, we, we've We've had one inheritance for the children and, and we dealt with that separately to this. Right. Uh, but it, again, it was easier to do because they had some concept. Actually, that's money that I've inherited at a young age. I should put it to one side for yeah. what they've understood to be a future requirement. Come on then, let's go through the four pot pot, pot system. Uh, let's so this so basically it's a visual. Fo- is it an actual physical four pots that you it, lay out? It, it, it is a physical receptacle of some kind. Right. So the girls have got purses. We've got a son as well. He's got a wallet. But we use uh, piggy banks or we use a pot. We've got an open cup. Uh, you, really, you can do what you want. But the and key thing is to split them. it. You 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 really need to split this into four different methods. Okay. You really do. Uh, so you can work out where your money is at any one time as well. Then, you do, you? and and slowly but surely you'll end up with a. A bank account will be one of the pots, mm. and uh, maybe something else will be another one. But mm. but you'll gather how that works. Talk to me through. Talk them through. I mean, is it easy to go through what's in pot one, two, three, and four? Do it that way, or is it... very, very happily? Yes. Right. Very okay. Happily. So uh, what's in the first pot? So the first pot, we we split out the first ten percent, and we make that the charity pot. Uh, and the charity pot is simply that ten percent of the pocket money is put to one side to be used on a a, a, a sensible. Uh, charitable or similar giving purpose. So it might be that you spend it at the church fate. It might be that you literally put it in a charity pot. The benefit of this is that you're starting to teach the children at that very young age that there is someone who needs the money more than they do. 
So right. even at this point, they're beginning to think about others, and it's a really key part. It's the smallest part of it. They never begrudge it. They never, ever begrudge it, and they also know that they've got that money put to one side for a different purpose. The five pence of your 50p that you've given them a week goes in the in the good causes and charity pot. And 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 the the point I should I should perhaps stress Jonathan is that the the uh, pocket money goes up with age. So every birthday they have it goes up by the same function that you've originally started with. Right. So uh, at whatever it is at 3 it goes up 1 at 4 it goes up 1 at 5. Oh right. Uh, and big, that's So if it's 50p at 3 it goes up to a pound at 4. Does well it? well it, it, it not not not, uh, not quite. What what we do I'll use the pound if I may instead of the yeah, 50p yeah, yeah. just because my my simple mind makes it easier to, yeah, to calculate. So if they're 3 they get uh, maybe 3 pounds a week. Uh, or thirty pence a week, or thirty pounds a week. You can you can make it make your judgment as I say on that scale. But if you use your three pounds a week, thirty pence of that is going into the charity pot. At right. uh, four, it becomes four pounds a week, or forty p a week, or whatever right. it might be. So it's going up as uh, functions okay. of, of their age. So the first pot is charity good causes, of which ten percent of what they make, uh, what they what they get, uh, goes into that. Absolutely. Let's talk about pot two. What's pot two for? Pot two is the one they love the most. Let's be honest about it. It's the spend it now, spend it immediately, short-term money. It's the money, I suppose, that, that we would have in our wallets or our pockets and we're, we're, out, we're out and about. And, and for the children, that is perhaps what people traditionally see as the pocket money. That is the money right. they get handed that is put in their purse or their wallet for them to spend that week or to save up over a couple of weeks. And I've seen people... Uh, spend this on those pocket money toys that break after five minutes yeah. they immediately learn the value of money because they don't do that again sometimes they want particular sweets sometimes they want a magazine or they save up two or three weeks for a magazine the, the point is that that money is something they really want to get on with it's instant they get it in their hand and they get it on a saturday morning and so again with this though it's a percentage of what goes in the now pot so 30 percent of what they get so again if we stick with our pound because because you, yeah. you're the financial wizard yep, and yep. if you want a pound i certainly do because <laughs> I'm really rubbish at maths. So uh, so we have our pound a week. Yep. Uh, so thirty p thirty p is therefore it. going into the that's now it. pot. So that's they get it. they get to spend thirty percent of what they've exactly. earned. Exactly. What, what, whatever your week. figure is for your own family's yeah. budget, and it's really important. Don't don't feel it's got to be a particular figure. Mm. Uh, thirty uh, percent thirty p in the pound right. goes into that pot. So ten percent ten pence has gone into charity and good causes. Thirty pence has gone into the now pot. What goes in the third and fourth? You'll have to wait until after this. This is Love Hurts and Jim Capaldi, my guest in the studio. Simon Gibson, Chief Investment Officer at Mattioli Woods Wealth Management. Simon Gibson's in the studio talking about the four-pot system, uh, how to get your kids to know the value of money. So we've got our first pot, which has got 10% of what they earn a week for charity and good causes. Pot two, 30% of the money goes to what they can spend now. That's entirely up to them. Pot three. Pot three is called Saving for Something Special. And the idea is that that next 30% goes into a pot where they have got something in mind which over the next six months or so they would like to buy for themselves so it's not that we don't clothe our children or feed them but it's the, <laughs> they, they fancy that different sort of roller skate or a third pair of jeans or whatever it might be uh, in one case it's a it's a particular bit of lego yeah. you look at that and you say right well you work out how much you're going to have or we'll help you work out what you'll have from that pot in six months time and it's really nice we do it every six months so there's a couple of opportunities a year just to say i've saved for something special i've got it in my mind it's not quite as instant as the, as the first option, but it's certainly something they can still benefit from. And they have to make a choice as well, don't they? They really do. Because once they've spent it, they've spent it. Absolutely. And right. if they want two things for half the money, that, that's fine. But, but there's no, none of this crazing. There's none of the running around the supermarket or this time of year on holiday saying, can I have that, can I have that? Sure. Because they've got their own pots of money. Which brings me ni nicely to pot four, which is the long-term savings slash investments pot. So 30% goes in there as well. It does. You'd expect me to have investments in the title, given yeah, what I do. Yeah, but, wealth management. But, yeah. but it really is savings at, at an early stage, and it really can just be saved in the pot, and then you open a bank account. And then if that money does build up, again, depending on the particular numbers that you use, buy some premium bonds, put it into a different sort of investment, and get them thinking about, OK, what is this for? And the funny thing is that although the first three have always been really carefully and very specifically explained, I and, and the people I give this to have never particularly said what the last pot is for. It's just called the long-term pot. Yeah. Uh, my seven-year-old, the first of our children to go through the system, said, actually, Dad, I've worked out what that's for. And this was a key moment, and I was slightly nervous. And she said, I think I'm going to be buying a car or a house with it. I said, well, you won't buy a house. But yeah. yes, that's exactly the point. You. Mind you, on this, uh, with the increase as well, you could get yourself uh, certainly 
a good car, couldn't you? Off you the back of and, and I think the costs of, of, of young people, whether they're heading off to university or when they first come to the point of needing a car or transport, uh, they're certainly all there. The Bank of Mum and Dad is one of the top 10 lenders in the UK already. So yeah. what better way than get the children doing this through their own means? And I suppose, what it, I mean, it's, it's early investment, isn't it? And I suppose the other thing is it also just takes the burden off Mum and Dad. So when they do get to the age of driving and they do want a car, the money's already there. You've not got to think, oh, crikey, I've got to buy the child a car now. I've got to get them and go and get them a decent car or anything like that it's already done isn't it it really helps for it very significantly and, and it is that point about getting them to understand it not just have have the money that's easy to do you give them the money when they're 18 maybe about understanding where it's come from and how they've got to that point four pots the first pot 10 percent charity and good causes the second pot the now of which 30 percent of the pocket money goes in that special purchases things to save for 30 percent and the fourth pot is long-term savings investment another 30 percent and of course as they get older they will do chores jobs around the house which they can't do at three years old but they can do at you know eight nine you know whatever uh right up to how how often you want to pay them to and then you tend to stop the bunny at what 16 i I, i've we've stopped it around about 13 right but for part of the reason you've said we wanted to bring in chores and other elements and uh indeed the opportunity for them to go out and decide Absolutely, what because they do. They, because they know how this works they'll now work their finances around what they want to give to good causes what they want right now what they would like to save for in the not too distant future and what they want to put money down for that extra special thing in later life quite right i love it do you have a loads of change pots of change around your house because <laughs> you have to keep on dividing it all and putting 10 percent in there and all the rest of it we do have several piggy banks I that's, bet that's you their, do. their choice I bet you of, do. Uh, of pot uh, great to see you, Simon. Thank you so much for coming in and having a chat with me about it as well. I love that. And if you would like a copy of uh, Simon's uh, four-pot system, if you let me know, if you email me, jonathan.lampon at bbc.co.uk, I'll send you a copy of it. It's the Pocket Money four-pot system. And if you just email me, jonathan.lampon at bbc.co.uk, I will make sure that you get to see a copy of that. I'll send that over to you. That's no problem whatsoever. Uh, Simon, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Good to see you. Take great care. Great to see you. Thanks. 